Welcome back. Today I'm going to go over a quick topic, which is exporting models of your creations. This um, is another feature which many users don't realize that NEOS has, so I want to go over it quickly and talk about some caveats. Let's get started. I'm going to go over to Smooth POV. So I have a contrived example here, but it's one that should work quite well nonetheless. I have a brush here. Um, check out my video on the brush system, which I'll link in the video description if you're unsure what the brush is. But I've equipped it, and I'm just going to draw a swiggle. You can imagine this as being my, uh, my artwork. There we go. So there's my uh, squiggly artwork, and I want to export this as a 3D model back to my computer. So how do I do that? So what I can do here is I can go ahead and grab the artwork here. So I've got the entire object in my hand. Uh, let me turn on private UI as well. I forgot that I needed that. So um, there we go. And then I can uh, go to my Neos folder here within my computer. This is in the File Browser tab. So select the File Browser tab. Just navigate to somewhere in your computer that you want to save the object. And then I can go ahead and push this green plus here. And you'll see um, that the export dialog appears. And this is the uh, this is the, the, the cool part. So here you'll see that um, it says uh, export as, and there's a name here. So this is the name of your model. So I'm going to leave this as, uh, you could leave this as strokes actually, but I'm going to call it uh, art. And then I can select a file format to export it as. I would recommend OBJ or FBX, but you can use others if you're uh, wanting to. Um, so I'm going to go ahead here and select FBX, and I'm going to hit export, and then you'll see done. And then if we go back to my uh, file browser here, you'll see I now have an FBX file called art.fbx. I'm going to move to the left here, far away from the original artwork over there, and I'm going to go ahead and double click on art.fbx, close my dash, hit 3D model, regular, auto scale, import. And you'll see that the artwork has come back in. So this one here was generated in Neos. You can tell by the fact that it is yellow. And this one was an FBX, which I exported to my computer and then re-imported. You can do this with many objects in Neos, but you cannot do it with very complicated objects. So don't try and do it with a whole world or a whole avatar or something very complicated, or something which has logics. This doesn't export logics, this doesn't export materials that well, it doesn't export whole worlds that well, it's just for exporting tiny little parts about it. I've done it with some world geometry, for example there was a, uh, a cliff face within a world that I needed to edit um, to make the cliff face easier to climb or something like that, and so I found the cliff face in my inspector and I exported just the cliff face, remodeled it in Blender, you know, added some detail, whatever I needed to do, brought it back in again and then put it exactly back where the location was and applied the same material and it worked out fine. Um, but don't expect that to be done with avatars. This is not for exporting avatars. I'll put that in the video description as well so it's very clear from the offset. You can't really export avatars like this. This is not a Unity package. This is just a simple sort of geometry export and import. But I wanted to show it to you just so that we had uh, it as a topic just in case anyone came up and, uh, and asked me about it. Thank you. I'll see you next time.